You guys, I'm a streamer first. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Streaming is my job. It's what I do. Uh, oh, oh dear. He gets forked here. Oh yeah, yeah. Even D1, it was a, just a clean fork. Okay, what is this? Okay, I'm. I don't want to really think too much, so I'm just gonna move. Okay, let's see. What is this? I guess I trade and go like E5 here. Should be fine. Um. Because he, he seeds the F file. Like, I can't castle queen side, king side, but he seeded a file. So I'm going to go queen g7 and c6 is kind of interesting. I think I'm going to go here and target the diagonal here. I should have probably gone c6 first, but whatever. Yeah, because now it's this is kind of getting a little bit dry. Now he castles here. I'm gonna go here to target the diagonal a little bit. I also stop Bishop H3 as well. I think I'm gonna go, um, I think I'm actually gonna try to castle King's side maybe. Very, very weird position here. I can castle king's side. I can also play like rookie eight. I think I'm gonna go here, just castle rookie eight, put pressure on the knight maybe. Goes there. Let's castle. H2 is very soft here, by the way. Hmm. Target the knight here. I think I'm gonna go here and maybe knight f5. It's got a slight problem on the diagonal here. This is Navarre, by the way, very strong chess player, yeah. Okay, goes rookie one. I'm gonna go here and maybe bishop g5, try to target the diagonal. King, queen, same side. Yeah, the castling is always the same. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna offer the trade that works. I still want knight f5 at some point. Hmm. Oh, C4. I guess I trade. Now I can obviously trade, but I think... Oh, wait. This is actually very strong. I target the knights here. I can't just take because he takes with the bishop and he hits my queen. My queen would be under attack if I had done that. Actually, it's got a big problem, though, because these juicers are both weak. I can take e3, knight f5. I mean, even knight b5. Knight b5, rookie one, or... No, I think I just take and I go knight here. I can also trade. Um, just trade this one. I have rookie three here. Let's target the queen. Oh, I missed queen f1, but I have knight b5, I guess. Should still be good. Should just be winning. I'm up a lot of pawns here. Um, everything's under attack. I guess I'll just take this one and go king d6. He still can't guard all of his pawns. They're both weak. One up, one down. Twitch Mormon just subscribed. Hey, Twitch a Mormon for the nine months. Thank you so much. It's funny to see him nod along without the music, though, lol. He goes knight g3. Um, Henry had Olafintia just subscribed. I'm just gonna play here, maybe target the pawn. Hmm. 
go here. Underscore CMU just resubbed. the Green for the 16 DJ CMU for the 6th Henry of Falante for the 2 thing is Sir Juicy Tomato for the Prime. Okay, let's go here. No 96 because I cover the square. Camera, uh, you don't need it for the first part. You need the second camera for the knockout. And of course I'll turn it on for the for the knockout. I also had B6 made, which is interesting. Okay, I guess I'll go here, target the pawn. Oh, that might be a blunder by me, actually. Well, I do have E5, so it's probably not. Bishop E5, that's a strange move. Um, Looks wrong somehow. Oh, let's just do it. So I hit the pawn, I hit the pawn. I mean, it's very, very weird. Hey, LG Booty X for a 10. Thank you so much, LG Booty X. X just took $5 out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Okay, of course I go here. I target the knight. I can take. I can also go G6 or E6. I mean, question is, do I take? My instinct is that I do take. And I think I play E6 here. Target the knight on, um, on C5. I also guard the pawn. Very important that I guard this. I hit this. Both kings are very iffy here. But if my queen gets to A3, I win the game. Yeah, now I have to go... Or wait, I can even maybe take this one, but... No, I think I'll just come back. If I take, he has some kind of E4, Queen, A6 nastiness that I don't want to deal with. And now I'm still threatening to just take, because then I then the knight is under attack here. How far from long quote key are you, Sarasota, for reference? Oh, I'm nowhere near Sarasota. I'm not on that side of the coast. If I, if I was on that side of Florida, I'd probably go fishing with Tifu. Um, but yeah, looks like I was higher rated. Uh, no, this is 960. It's not regular. It's 960. You have a different rating for that. So, let's see. Hi, Ikaru. It's me, your only viewer. For months, I have created the illusion that you are streaming to a large audience. But here's the truth. All these people in chat are me. And now for you to be convinced of this, I will send this message from all my accounts. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now I just take the pawn. I hit this one. It's all good. Yeah, tofu. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the eastern side of Florida, yeah. Back home already streaming, what a monster. You guys, I'm a streamer first. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Streaming is my job, it's what I do. Uh, oh, oh dear, he gets forked here. Oy, 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 even D1, it was a, just a clean fork. Let's keep going. So, yeah. Yeah, I told you guys I streamed. So, I mean, I took yesterday off because I, I had a flight, but there's no way I'm taking two days off in a row. That's just That's just not me. The best copy pastas are which one? Are the ones that have meaning in their volume? Yeah, let's go C3, try to take the big center here. Okay, it gives me the center, which I'm kind of surprised by. Um, I guess I'll just go... I have H4, but I think I should just keep building here. I think I'm going to go H4. He can take if he wants. Okay, let's go, I guess, F3, open up the diagonals here. Probably Knight D2. H5 is kind of interesting, so I'm going to play. If Knight F4, I have Queen F1 and G3. I mean, this gets a little bit wild here. <laughs> Okay, he goes 97. I guess I'll go here to cut off f5. If knight g4, maybe just knight d2. G4 is kind of a move, but I don't really like it. On the other hand, if I don't go g4. Okay, now I guess I'll develop my knight. Why not? I'm trying to play f5. I mean I have d5 at some moment. It's just a question of how do I want to play this. Um I don't really like d5. Has just donated $20. I just Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so let's go here. I'm going to castle. Now I do have D5. What? I do have D5 here. I think I'm going to do something very wild. I think I'm going to take and take. Go for this. This is going to be very wild. So he's going to take. I'm going to take. Which way do I take? I can take with multiple pawns. I think I should take with a G pawn maybe. Oh, it goes queen off six, which I did not expect at all. Let's castle. I mean, the problem is black actually can't castle. This bishop's in the way of the development. Wow, okay, I take. I mean, I think he's getting absolutely sauced here. I mean, okay, if this doesn't win, so be it. But yeah, I'm just going to go for the kill. I go here. I mean, this looks awful for black. I have knight b... I think I just go here. Threaten knight f7 with the classic fossil. Bishop c7, knight b5. Oy, oy, oy. Looks terrible. 
Dude, Elo Graham for the two thing. A, A Morgan for the 20 bucks. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. This just looks disastrous for Black. Yeah, it's game over. Not sure what else they can do. I didn't see the win. Yeah, maybe there wasn't a win. Who knows? So here, hit the bishop, hit the hit the king, bishop. Terrible. Oh no, did I make a blunder? I think knight f7 was winning on the spot. Maybe not. I made a mistake here. Okay, I have to do this one. I was gonna take, I missed queen e5. Um, I still have a lot of counterplay here though. Very careless by me. Takes. It takes on f3, but wait, I have queen g2 maybe? So here, attack the rooks. He checks, I move my king, and then I double stack. I mean, he's got a king and a rook that are kind of very poorly placed. I'm gonna go here, because now I threaten bishop e4. Go here, because now I'm just gonna take the bishop. I mean, the problem is there's queen f4. Oh, I missed this. Wait, but I have rook f1 maybe? Yeah, I, wait, but I have this? Because now I've got another pin. Very wild position. I don't have bishop c6. I mean, I'm almost okay here. I just need like one more good. Knight b7 is no good. If I go rook d1, queen e6, I don't have a good move. Go here and take. I mean, this isn't what I wanted to do. Oh, I had knight c4, I think. Uh, I missed knight c4. I mean, he's got bad pieces here, but I think he, I think I'm probably technically lost. There's queen e6, which, wait a second, that gives me rook. Check king c7. Okay, whatever. I've got, I've got to do something. I don't have time. Check. I go here. I hit the king. I go here. His rook is still very bad, so I'm trying to basically create something, some play here. If I check, it's no good. I can also just go like rook h8, maybe, or rook f7. I'll go here. I mean, if he loses h6, I get a rolling pawn. So it's very hard for black to play. So I take, of course. With this pawn rolling up the board, now do I check or not? My instinct is that I, oh, I that I shouldn't, but okay, I did it anyway, like an idiot. Let's go. Uh, I guess I go here in h6, h7. I'm up on time too, so h6. h7, of course. Go here, guard both pawns. Tough to play for black. Very, very tough to play. I mean, his. his I'll go here, fix the pawns. Let's go here. Um. Here. Check. I have this. I also have rook h8. Rook h8. Oh, wait, no, that's a free knight. What am I doing? Free knight. Okay, let's just go here, and now we just win the game. I have check always. All right, we got the dub. Let's keep going. Three out of three. Pretty good so far. Oh, after, after bishop g3, angel one, knight b7, or bishop e4, both are plus three. Uh, fair enough. Any thoughts about developing bad habits with 960 in preparation for the candidates? I mean, this is a one-off tournament, so no, not at all. Not worried at all. Okay. Um, let's go c6 here, maybe d5. Don't know if this is good or not, but it looks like an opening. Also, this is very... Kind of boring opening. Because, yeah, both sides can just castle right from the get-go. So I don't like this. Okay, I'm going to play f5. Very bold move to stop him from taking the center here. We'll see if it works. Thank you to Ant Spadero for the 16 months. Thank you so much to Ant Spadero. Let's go here. I'm going to go 94 and just blockade. I'm going to take the... Uh, we're going to play this like a Stonewall Jackson. I castle e5 maybe. Looks very good for me, objectively. I do have knight c3 here to win the bishop. I don't know if it's actually good, but I'm going to go for it. Just took five dollars out of Bezos. I also have F4. I just realized. Wait, I also have F4. Wait, 
Wait, no, 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 that hang, hangs a night. What am I doing? Okay, let's go f4. Go here, target the rook, and now I should just win because I have end peasant. If he plays e4, I just take. Rook guards the bishop, collect the rook, and this is all looking very hunky dory. Thank you to M. Vagusta for the three. Thank you to Lupus for the seven. Thank you so much, Lupus. Appreciate it. Thank you. E3. I guess I'll just develop. Why not? Could have just taken. Although, yeah, I, sh I should have probably just traded. They could have played E4 there, and then I don't have on Peasant because they played E3. Is my prep team or is my prep team assembled for the candidates? Pretty much, not completely, but close. Take and go Knight H4, classic attack. I'm going to go for the checkmate with Queen H3 and, and made him on G2. I will not give my seat to Ding. Ding Laurent is qualifying uh, via rating anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. I go here, go for the checkmate. Now I take and mate. There we go. Next game, four up, four down. Very, very good so far. Is XUC on my candidates uh, team? Maybe. You never know, you guys. You never know. But he's pretty expensive. It'd be hard to get him to take a month off of streaming to help me. Um, it might be six. Okay, let's go E4 here. I'm going to play B3. I know it's not a good move, but I'm just going to create some kind of weird bind in the center here. Yeah. His opening ideas are worth it, though. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. His opening ideas are pretty good. I agree. Actually, I have C5 to kick the knight out of town, too. I'll go here. Get a Sally Boo for the 300 bits. Okay, he plays 96. I'm going to play this. I don't know if it's actually good. He, he has a check, but it's just a check. Nobody cares. This isn't three checks. This isn't three checks and you win. We're playing, like, proper 960 chess. I also have Queen A5 to hit the bishop as well. So, yeah. Do I think I'm better in 960 than in normal chess compared to other top players? Not really. I think everybody understands the basics pretty well. Suppose you do win the candidates. How do you prepare for Magnus? I'll think about that when I get there. Until I get there, it's not on my mind. All I'm, all I'm focused on is, is right here and now. I'm just streaming and bringing you guys a good show. That's all I care about at the moment. Uh, I have Queen A5 here and Queen H5, which is an idea. I mean... I think if I just develop, though, I should be fine. He's probably going to try to castle short, I assume. So my king is a little bit iffy here on c2, potentially. Although I can go rook d1. I guess I'll go here, probably rook d1 next. I should be better, objectively. Drift away. It plays d6 logical. Um... Question is, is he actually castling short or not? I think he is. So if he is, I think I should actually just finish my development and get ready to go G4, H4. Yeah. Get ready to attack him on the king side. The Trokar for the eight months. Thanks so much, Trokar. Appreciate it. Thank you. This A5. I mean, you can go Knight of 5. Even Rook HG1 looks quite, quite aggressive. Knight of 5 ideas open up the G file here. I don't really believe in this somehow. Oh, but he has a... Wait, no, but C5, I just... Okay, so I take... To C5, he hangs a pawn. I'm probably going Knight F5 next move. Very, very double-edged position, but I suspect I'm better here. I have Knight F5, I have G5. I have attacking idea. C5 is his only idea here. So if I go Knight F5, complex. C5 definitely is wrong. Queen C3, I think, is a good move. So if you go C5, I have B5. If you go C6, I have C5. I still have knight f5 too. Although maybe queen c3 is wrong the more I think about it. But I'm way up on time here. I do have h4, g5. I mean, I have c5 at some point. The question is just how do I play this? My instinct is that I should probably stack somehow. I have ed5, c5. Yeah, let's just go here. I'm going to take and then go C5. And D4, okay, takes. C5, D4, trade, trade. I think I'm okay here. And he goes back. I stack the two top. So I take. And now I always have Bishop C4. I also have Queen E4 here. And now I can take and go Bishop C4. And this should just be pretty much GG here. I want to get lost in your Fisher, Fisher Random and just drift away, indeed. Uh, Knight D5 is... Actually, a very good move that I... Wait, no. Is it a very good move or not? Wait. Bishop c4, knight b4, king b1 looks... Correctamundo. Correctamundo. 
Yeah, this looks correct to Mundo. If takes, takes, he can't check me because he's already pinned here. So I think this is winning. Takes, king, c3 is my idea. I think it's just winning. I mean, he can maybe go queen f7 and play an end game down a pawn, but he should be losing there. Okay, so I think I go here. Because takes, I can just take and go king... Oh, wait, takes... No, but I go here, rook d2, king a1, and I'm still winning. He's knight c3, but it doesn't do anything. And now, I believe I just eat the juicer, and I eat the juicer. And I mean, I'm up a piece here, so I just have to unwind the knight and just win the game. Okay, rook d3. Let's go here. And knight a5, collect the pawn. And then I use my pass pawn and just win the game. Take... Go here, dominate the knight, no squares. Get the win, keep rolling. Thank you, Diaz GG for the 18 months. Thank you so much, Diaz GG. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's cut off the diagonal. Thank you to Ridiculous Rook for the 14 months. Thank you so much, Ridiculous Rook. Appreciate it. Okay, knight g3. I'm going to play b6. Boston Mike on the prep team would be too funny. I mean, Boston Mike is a great chess player. So maybe, you never know. You never know what the plan is. There are many options, you guys. I have a feeling D5 was wrong. I think he had Bishop G4, which might have just been winning for white. Gonna... Okay, let's reset. Um... Wait, Knight G6, Knight F5 could be a problem. I have to be a little bit careful here. Um... Yeah, let's go here in 95, maybe. When will he car reveal his prep team? Probably never, you guys. At least not until after the tournament, at the very least. Thank you to Obi Spooky for the prime. Okay, let's go C5. Let's challenge him in the center immediately. Okay, I mean, I guess I will... I can obviously take, but I think I'm going to go... It's actually very weird. My pieces are kind of not aligned correctly here. They're misaligned. But he can't cast... Wait, but he can't castle King Sykes. His bishop's in the way, and he can't develop it. So, wait a second. Just wait. Okay, let's take. Let's go here, hit the bishop. Now, I also have knight c6. I'm going to have to be very careful, too, because white can also castle queenside, but not super concerned yet. Don't you need a prep team for the candidates? Of course you do. And I'm already working on it. But he does. The so bishop h5, I always have, like, g6 or something, or e6. Although now he can also develop in castle, maybe. So it's very, very complex. Very, very complex. Why keep the prep team a secret? Because uh, so certain players are opening specialists. They know they know certain openings very well, and you don't want people to be aware of that. So that's why people don't really talk about who's who's uh, who's on their team. Will my schedule change? Not really, you guys. I'm a streamer first. That's not changing. Uh, I guess I'll go here to attack the queen. Problem is my bishop is still very wrongly placed. This bishop is just bad. Let's go here. I need to castle my king. If I, if I don't get castle, I'm in trouble. Let's go here. Once I get castled, I'm completely fine, though, because I can develop my knight very quickly. Okay, let's castle here. I'm kind of surprised he did that, actually. A little bit surprised. He goes f4. I guess I'll play e6 because now I want to develop my other bishop. Maybe like bishop e7 and like knight b4 maybe. I can also go knight g6 here to hit the pawn. This makes a lot of sense. Knight d4. Okay, I don't really understand that move very much. But okay, I guess I he has knight b5, which could be annoying. It also might not be annoying. I don't really want to trade, but I guess I will. Play knight h4. I can also reroute the knight. Which I think I'm just going to go here and bishop c5 maybe. Keep it very simple. This isn't really all that wonderful for me, but I think I'm okay. Messy position. Um, okay, goes bishop b2. I actually, wait. Go here, target the queen. He has to go bishop b5, and then I have queen c8, maybe. <clears throat> Targeting the knight. Threatening to maybe mate him on c2 as well. Now, wait, I can take, though, right? Ah, uh, no, wait. I have bishop e3 check. This is a big threat with a mate. You might have to... 
It was rook d3? That looks like a mistake, but why? But why is that wrong? That feels wrong, 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 wrong. Um, e3, king b1. This looks very wrong. I just don't know why exactly. <sighs> oh! Aha! Yes. I take. His Navi takes with a rook. I check him and I collect, or, or he gets mated on c2. And if queen f4, I trade and take, and I'm just good. Boom. Checkmate on c2. And if not, I just eat the rook. Very good. There we go. I take with the queen, threaten the mate, so he has to trade, and now it's over. Just resubbed for three months. Just sack everything. <clears throat> Create the wooden shield, of course. Good stuff so far. No jet lag. No, you guys, I feel pretty good. I have a little bit of a headache, but overall, I feel good. Yeah. I need a shade off for the gift sub. Besides, streaming comes first, though, at the end of the day. Yeah, I resigned with one second. That was kind of unnecessary. Yeah, I mean, probably should have resigned sooner. Okay, let's go E4. Guess I'll play Knight G3 here. Da da da. It goes there. I guess I'll play B3, maybe C4, maybe knight E3. Don't you think stream would affect your prep? Not really. Not concerned. Okay, let's go here. Maybe put a knife on F5. Put this knife here, because I can still kick him out if I go G3. I can also go H4 too. Okay. I think I'm going to play F3 to consolidate. I don't really want to go C4, because if I play... Okay, now I play C4 to control the square. Can you over prep for a big event? Absolutely. I think Nepo actually over prepared for his match against uh, Magnus. Absolutely. 100%. Okay, but now I can put the pony here. Or I think I'm just going to go h4, h5. Because again, I don't have to castle here. I can also go queen g3. Actually, how is he stopping h5 just winning the game here? It's pretty scary for black, if you ask me. It goes h5, I have queen g5, and I mean... Also, after h5, I can even go queen up to g4 and just attack on the king side. With no worries. Huh? Oh, he gets a knight in... Wait a second. Let's go here. Let's go here. I'm really trying hard to basically just attack him on all, all fronts here. There's knight of six, there's knight e7. I mean, everything is kind of collapsing for black. Maybe to Adeline for the two months. I think so much to Adeline. Oh, over prep, it means you basically you do too much preparation and you don't rely on your intuition. You become too worried that you're going to get blasted off the board out of the opening. And so you just start like looking at every single opening nonstop, which isn't practical. I have queen h4 here, which looks pretty good. I'll do it. And I do have g4. I also have this too, just to be a little bit annoying. But yeah. Nepo admitted he overprepped? Yeah, absolutely. No, I think I think 100% he did. Okay, G6. Now, I think I can go check. I can just take and go... I can even be more annoying. Okay, I guess... I do have G4 here. Takes. I can take with the pawn. I can also take the rook. Everything's kind of hanging. Let's just take. I mean, everything is hanging here. I want to open up the diagonal as well. Oh, wait. Did I just blunder? I actually did, I think. Oh, I did just blunder. What the heck? I just made a huge mistake. I'll still probably win because of the time situation, but I did actually just blunder. Uh, okay, or you can just blunder a knight. Now, now I just win the game. There we go. All right, next game. Let's keep going. 
Oh, I hate this league thing. Really annoying to see. Okay, let's just go C4. Doesn't look like a blunder on first glance, so. Oh, let's go D4. Maybe I'll play F3 or something. Play this D5. Um, I can obviously trade. I don't really want to trade. I think I'm going to go Knight D2. I guess I can play E3 here. Just open up the diagonal this way, maybe, towards the queen. How does streaming help you as a streamer? Um, is that a joke? Uh, that, that must be, you're just making a making a joke, I guess. I'll go here, target the queen. Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's that's some kind of troll. Okay, let's go here on Bishop H2. Go here, target the rook. He's gonna have to go Bishop C7. I'll trade, I'll go here. I'm almost certainly gonna castle king side here. Looks very, very bad for black. Yeah, he's got that. I'm gonna go here on Queen C3, of course. Problem is black can't castle. If, if he could somehow castle, he'd be okay, but this king can't castle. And the queen side's already kind of exploding a little bit here. I mean, maybe he can try to run his king all the way out, but feels too slow, objectively. Maybe it's not, though. Now, I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna play E4. I'm just gonna open up the board here before he can get the king out of the center, basically. Yeah, he's, he's trying to do it, but I, I think he's a little bit too slow here. That's the problem. I mean, he's still trying, so I'm gonna go here. I'm definitely looking to sack, for sure. 100% I'm, I'm looking to sack. He's still kind of okay, though, which is very weird, but kind of. I guess actually not, though, because I can go here, D5, 95, so many options. Go here. Queen off three. Yeah, probably is not actually okay. Good try, but not quite. I go here, I have knight c6. Now this diagonal is a problem. Everything's a little bit loose here. How did I castle my king was on c1? It's a long castle. I play a4, but I think knight c6 is just good enough. But I'll, I'll go a4 anyway. Just consolidate, create this, this protected pass pawn here. And I should be doing very well. He goes rook c7. Okay, now I'm definitely going to go knight c6. Now I'm just going to sack. I go for the checkmate in one. Okay, takes. Um, now the question is, what is the easiest way to win here? Because everything is kind of winning. So I guess I'll just take the pawn. Let's go check. I mean, he can try to run, but again, I mean, queen f6 and I just run the h pawn. Should be pretty clean. I should go on the Lex Fridman podcast, Guy Loves Chess. Well, you guys, he slided me. I was supposed to be on his podcast in, um, I think, in like early January. He decided to have Elon on, Elon Musk on his podcast instead of me, which just is insane. So so obviously, I, I don't think I'll be appearing on his podcast anytime soon. All right. Thank you to Sip Coffee for the Prime. Thanks so much. Uh, okay, so he takes... I mean, I can play H4 here. I can also just take F7. Let's go here and Queen F3, I guess. Should be... Just there. Okay, I'm gonna go here and just line up some checkmate threats. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you think Elon said of you? Agreed. Absolutely. Just unbelievably insane. Okay. Go here, threaten the ladder checkmate with rook b8. All pretty good so far. Guess I'll just eat the juicer. Go here. Like the queen. Okay, all very good. Let's keep rolling. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the nerve. The nerve of that guy. I agree. Just what nerve? Uh, let's play e5 here. Go c6 here. Maybe knight g6. Uh, I can also go... I think I'm going to play... Oh, wait, no. a5 is insane. What am I doing? Um, hmm. Huh, this is actually kind of unpleasant. I'm gonna sack a pawn. This probably is bad, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get freaky with it here. I'm gonna sack a pawn to try and prevent him from developing quickly. Let's go here. Maybe target the diagonal. Go here. I have knight f4. I mean, trying to get a little bit weird. Thank you to I and D for the two months. Thanks so much. Now it goes there, but don't I have this to hit the queen? 
I mean, it's starting to look kind of scary for white. I mean, there's also queen b4 check at some point, too. So it's getting... I mean, I guess I... Uh, oh, queen b4 doesn't do anything, though. Hmm. Actually, what am I doing? I'm being a little bit too cheesy this game. Playing way too loose. Um, Yeah, what, what am I even doing this game? I've completely messed this game up for no good reason. Yeah, what did I even do? I don't even understand this. Okay, let's go here, maybe 96 or something. I'm gonna have to play as like some kind of very weird. Knight c4. Go f6. I do have 96 here or something. Oh no, this is actually just losing. What am I doing? Go here. 96 allowed, 96 and knight f5 mate. Okay, castles though, so at least he gives me a chance to sort of finish my development here. Also, there is a slight problem on the diagonal, maybe. I'm gonna go h5. I'm trying to get really aggressive here. Just sacking everything if I can. I'm down two pawns. If he can close the diagonal, I probably just resign. Let's h3. But now I'm in huh. Oh, let's just go for it. I mean, I'm down so many pawns that I might as well try. Uh, I can also go b5 here. Knight a okay, let's go for it. I mean, this probably is just terrible. I don't know, know exactly what I'm doing. He goes there. Uh, I think I go here, though. This looks a little bit too insane by me. Yeah, this is way too much. I don't know why I played like this. Oh, I'm very unfortunate. What am I doing? So let's go here. I, I don't know what I'm doing this game. I'm just playing this horribly. Let's go here. Let's go here. I mean, I get a knight to f4. As we know, a knife on f4 is worth at least a queen. So I have the knife on f4, so I should be okay. Actually, bishop b6 first is maybe better. Um, go here. My king is also absolutely awful, by the way. To a4. Okay, who cares? I'm I'm probably cooked anyway, so I might as well just get get really bold and aggressive here. Let's just go for it. G4. Going all in for my one last hope here, which is his king. I think it a Van Pelt for the seven and Reese plays for the prime. Thank you so much to Reese plays. I mean, I'm sure this is just absolutely horrible, but some kind of outside chance. So I take, I mean, he gets knight b5 and I go like king takes. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. This, however, I take. No, that was actually wrong too. Yeah, he's got knight f5, which I also completely missed. Go here, threat knight f3, maybe. I'm also just down a piece, so I'm probably completely lost. Um, I guess I just take. I try to trick him with some knight f7. He's really low on time. I mean, of course I'm completely lost here. Let's go here. Knight, knight e5 is my idea. B4, I guess I'll go here and just take with the rook. Knight e5, maybe. Attack the bishop, rook c3 maybe. I mean, it's a little bit scary suddenly. I mean, there are actually some serious threats here. D2. Is there really no way to win? I guess there isn't. Go here. I mean, this is getting very dangerous for white. He blunders, I queen.
me down, down, down. All right, let's keep going. Incredible save. Yeah, that's just chess. It's a tough game. All right, we're playing Renato. Again, that's why you play to the end. That's why you play to the end. Even against Wesley, I wanted to resign when I was down the bishop, but you, you got to play to the end. You never resign. You just play to the end. Like, even when I was losing to Wesley, it's pretty funny because, like, I wanted to resign, but I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to keep keep playing because why not? I think so far I've won every game, actually. I think I'm doing better than undefeated, but who cares? Okay, stop 96 check. I mean, it's a strange move, actually. Um, Trying to go bishop 96 or something? I'm going to go f5. I don't know if it's a good move. Probably it's not, but I still have g6 or something. Go here, consolidate the chain. Let's go here. I want to go b6 to kick the knight out. Go b6, idea c5 here. Hmm. Go play e6 here, maybe. Don't like my position at all here. Oh, the problem is white can also castle, I just realized. So I'm actually in really, really bad shape. I think I have to try to close the door somehow. Maybe I just go here. Yeah, this is not a very good position. I think it's D3, which I don't like at all, I have to say. But I still have problems here. I still have to somehow get... Ah, fudge it. Let's just castle. I'm sure this is bad, but whatever. Who cares? I'm pretty confident this is just outright horrible for me. But I maybe I get G5 or something. Okay, I take with the E pawn. I mean, it feels really bad, but if I get G5 and something, maybe I can at least play the game. Knight D5 was also maybe better with Bishop A3, but such is life. It goes A4, which is, I think, quite a strong move. Um. Yeah, this actually could be just lost for me if I'm not careful. Very well might just already be lost. Okay, I'm going to go here. Do you can, I can play C5, I think. Yeah, let's just go for it. I mean, this probably is just terrible. Oh, I just missed that. Uh, yeah, I just missed that move, and I'm probably just lost now. I take... Maybe I have C4 or something. I mean, this looks absolutely horrible. Oh, I have Queen C6 and Queen A4 maybe to try and survive. And I'm sure this is just outright horrible, but I'll try. What more can you do other than play chess? Oh, but he actually blunders with that. He shouldn't have played that. Now, I mean, I'm still obviously much worse, but I have some hope. I definitely have a little bit of hope here. A little bit of hopium for sure. Take. I guess I go B5. Rookie eight. I mean, it's still bad, but there's definitely some play here for me now, at least. Yeah, it plays there, so I guess I go here and bishop c4, maybe? It's obviously still quite bad, but okay, I get rook e8. Go here, bishop c4. This bishop is also not really ideal on g2 now. Um, I guess I'll go... Do I go king c6 or g5 is also a big question. I think I go here because now I have b4 and rook b8. Okay, b4, king b4, takes, takes, check, check. Where do I go rook b8? There are multiple moves here. Multiple moves. I mean, if I go b4, it's a draw. So I'm going to try to play for the win with rook b8, which probably is wrong, but I'm going to try it anyway. Yeah, and I missed king b2. And now I have to go here. What's that? Why do I have WhatsApp? Where is it? Yeah, <laughs> ridiculous. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm way down on time. I just realized I got to move. I've got to move. I'm, I'm actually really low on time. I suddenly realized. Yeah. Still have chances to win this. Whoa. 
That strikes me as a mistake. I should be winning here. Go here and check maybe. Okay, now I should win though. I go D4, D3. Yeah, I just won the game here. Yay! Yeah, okay, we got the win. Let's keep going. You got a Michel shirt for the S17. Oh man, this league thing is killing me. I'll deal with it after. All right, let's keep going. Okay, let's go G3, target the Rook on A8. Let's go F4. Try to open up this diagonal and just play chess. Let's go E4, I can just take. Q, Q, Q at the day low. Well, I mean, everyone's waiting for the Fed to save us. Um, I can obviously trade, but I'm gonna go Knight F3, maybe Knight E3 next move. And Knight F3 is maybe not a great move by me. Let's go here. Check your WhatsApp was really good. Yeah, yeah, no, no, of course. I just closed it. I just had it open. Um, uh, I guess I'll play D3 and Bishop C3 next move. Go here, maybe castles. Pretty standard position so far. Now that I thought was a blunder on first glance, but I guess not. I'll go King B1, guard the pawn. Uh, let's just go here. Keep the rooks on the two open files. It's trippy. You can still castle. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. Um, let's go here and trade, maybe. Don't know how great this is. Let's take. Also threatening to... Wait. Take and take? Or did I just... No, isn't this just losing materials? Just take. It should just be winning for me unless I'm crazy. It looks winning. Just take the rook. Now I go c4, target the queen, I eat the juicer. It's GG. Let's keep going. Up to 41 points. Very, very smooth arena so far. Are we, are we pitching a perfect game? We are. 11 out of 11 so far. All right, let's see. Um, okay, let's go B3. All right, he plays F6. I guess I'll play C4, just take the Diax. Is that a pawn? Oh, wait. I yeah, yeah, G2 is hanging. Whoops. Yeah, yeah. let's go Knight F3. Whoops. I almost just ate the pawn. I just, that would have been really unfortunate. Okay, let's go D4, take the whole center. Yeah, as soon as I say it, it's like, yeah, immediately I almost blunder. Um. I think I'm going to play e4 and just take the whole center. Just take all of it. His bishop on a8 is trapped behind a pawn wall. And my bishops are both open. So I feel like the connect 4 is very powerful. Let's just take the rook. Yes, yeah, bishop on a8 is very bad because my bishops, my, my a1 bishop has perfect scope. His bishop has no scope. Um, Let's go there, I guess. Uh, Do I want to go rookie 2 or c2? Also, maybe play like knight h. Actually, knight h5 or f5. Which one is right? I guess f5 makes more sense. H5. Actually, no, h5 makes more sense because I, I want to take away this f4 square from him. Yeah, so he goes rook f7. Now I go rook e2 because now knight f4 I can just trade. There's no, no attack on the rook. But that's why knight h5 first was an important move to play. You can still castle, by the way, just in case people are wondering. This knight f4, I take, I go here, I have h3. I don't really like this. This bishop is so bad on um 
28. I also have Rook E4 threatening to win the game. There, I mean... Now, the question is, do I play Rook D2 first or not? I think I do, actually. Just target the pawn on H7 immediately. Do the tickle tickle? Yes, eventually. Problem is, this bishop on eight is just absolutely horrible. Uh, I guess I'll play h3, kick the knight back. Go a4. I want to lock this bishop in jail behind everything for the next, like, ten years. So I think I'm going to go... g4 is obviously a move, but I think I'm just going to go here in rookie two. Just go for something simple here. Go here, maybe knight e4. F5, I think, is a bad move, because now I go knight F3, and I have knight G5, and... Okay. Oh, actually, if I trade, it doesn't quite work. No, it does have bishop G7. Yeah, let's go for it. I think this is good. Oh, okay, well, now I just take, and... Yeah, it's GG. He'll probably resign. No, I guess he won't resign. Go here. Uh, let's just go F4, lock everything up here. Resigns, let's keep going. Probably want to win two more games. Two more games is the goal. All right, let's see. Uh, I'll play e4. Best by test, as Gary, or not Gary, sorry, as Bobby Fisher would say. So just best by test, best by everything. All right, let's see. I can play like knight g3, knight f5 here. Really like my position. I mean, I'm getting a knight to f5. Oh, the bet is on 50. Uh, yeah, so a bet is 50 by an hour or when? When is the bet? Okay, let's go. Um, that changes things. Uh, let's go here. Maybe I play f4, maybe knight f5. Is it 50? Oh, 18 minutes left. Okay, so yeah, so I'll play two more games. Okay. Yeah, I'll play two more games and I'll take a short break because I do need to use the restroom. Okay, knight d6. Now, I do have f4 here. I also have knight h5. Huh. f4 looks correct. It looks correct, but is it correct? It feels so correct. Let's just go for it. If it, if it looks right, it feels right, it is right, right? 18 minutes, but the clock says one hour. Okay. But now I think I just go here, and this pawn is very soft on g7. I think this is close... Uh, I thought it was close to loss, and I realized he has this stupid move. So I have to go here in D3. I guess I'm okay. Queen E5, I guess I have C3. I mean, I, I feel like I almost just threw this game, but it looks like I'm surviving. Because that's just how it, that's how it is. Yay! You need a petit side for the four months. Thanks so much for petit side. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, he goes there. I go C3. I have to close the diagonal towards the checkmate, and we roll, roll forward. Oh, yeah. Um, can I beat Stonkfish? Um, not really, no. It's too strong. I have not lost any games yet, but we're, we're not talking about that. Because then you jinx, jinx yourself. It was Queen B5. So first of all, I have Bishop B3. I also... Oh, D, <laughs> D3 is checkmate. That'd be rather unfortunate, to put it mildly. So let's go here. That would be really, really unfortunate to push a pawn and get checkmate in one move. There's 95, which actually is quite strong. Yeah, I have some, some serious problems here that I have to resolve. Uh, if I go rook f5, that's no good. If I go a4, that's no good. Queen f1, bishop d2. Wait a second. I have king c2, mate. King c2, knight d3. I'm going to do it. I, this might just lose somehow. I wouldn't be shocked if there was a forced win for black here. But I don't see it. Knight e3, I just take... Just that, so I go. Do I go f1 or not? I think I do, because now 93 I have rook f5, or I think I do. Yeah, I go rook f5, because now I hit the bishop and the knight at the same time, and now I can also take take and win the game. That's what he does. Well, first I have rook g5, I also have rook e5. Uh, rook g5 looks winning, unless I'm crazy. Looks like a free piece, because takes, he just gets mated. Check, I take. If he takes, I just take. Yeah, I think this is winning for me. I think he missed that he's just getting mated here. Check, 
should just be winning unless I'm missing something. Yeah, because now I castle, I take, and he just loses. I just have three juicers. I have two. I have two. Uh, two pukas and a bishop for the uh, uh, for the rook on f8. That uh, should be good enough. Okay, I can play rook e5. I mean, rook g7 looks good too. I mean, yeah, let's just take. I, I think. I think this is good enough. No, no need to be too creative. Let's take the pawn. He also can't. Can he cast? No, he can't castle because he castles through check here. So that'd be an illegal move. So he castles that way. But now here come the pukas. Oh, I missed queen e4, but I have d3. Whoops. Now I just take. Okay, and that's gg. Resigns. Let's keep going. Yeah, these pukas are really jumping. Take or Sam, Sam for dinner depends what kind of mood I'm in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I guess I will just develop. Maybe knight f3 here. This guy's pretty good, actually. 2430 is not his real rating, I don't think. He just doesn't play 960. Of course, I got to cut off the center push. Of course, he played f6, which, as Benj Grandmaster Benjamin would say, you never play f6. It's just a very, very bad move. Okay, let's just keep developing. I might go a4 or something, depending. It's knight f5. I guess I'm going to go a4. I want to go bishop a a6, maybe. I'm trying to confuse the situation a little bit. Uh, Bach, Benjamin, is he playing? I can't tell if he's playing or not, but yeah. Okay, he actually goes for it. Wow. So I take? I mean, I don't know. This is either great for me or terrible. I don't know which one. I mean, I always have g4. Okay, he plays h5. I take. I'm going to go queen a6, of course. This looks horribly scary with knight d3, knight c4 coming in. I take. I mean, I'm just going to castle and then go rook b1 and just kill him on the uh, b file, unless I'm missing something very obvious. Oh, Box says you should never move the microwave. Also true. Also true. Yeah, this castles is just a huge problem with rook b1. I think black's just close to lost. Oh, he's got d6, actually. I didn't see that. I can play, no, I think... Eh, this is still very good for me, but it's not actually just winning. Let's go here. Just want to go rook b1. Still attack on the uh, queen side. Castles, castles, castles. Three, yeah, go here. Rook, rook b1 next move. So queen a2, I want to go rook b1, just keep attacking. Very scary for black. Very, very hard to play. That castle, yeah, indeed. Okay, um, let's go here, attack the queen. And I have c4, c5 coming in. Pretty scary to play if you're black here, for sure. I mean, knight b4? I'm just going to go c4. Idea c5, idea knight b4. So many things are hanging for my opponent here. I don't really think he's going to survive this very well. That king jumped like his life depended on it, yeah. Yeah, castling is a little bit wonky in, in 960 for sure. Okay, go here. Go here. Knight has to move, and then I'm just going to go here. I've got knight c4. I mean, these pukas on c4 and a6 are just going to end the game, I think. Okay, I go here, attack the queen, and just... Keep attacking. I mean, I have ace. Oh, I've got knight b6 and knight a6. Look at these pukas. And if he takes a pawn, I go knight a6, and I made him on b8 even. Oof. Oof. Brutal position here for black. Absolutely brutal. This is as good as it gets, you guys. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, we got the checkmate. All right, you guys. We'll take a short break. Run to the restroom. We'll be right back. Okay, we're playing Ward TSH. What are we? We're in first place. Yeah, so far so good. I've been subbed for one year. Pog. They had ten thousand checks for twelve months. Uh, Bloody Mary. No, um, I took some cranberries and I mashed them up. Some cranberries and some some blackberries and other other good stuff. Let's play F five. That was a brutal game. That was really brutal. Yeah. He'll take. I'll, I'll change the structure. Play E six, maybe D five here. Okay, let's go Knight F six here. His bishops are not really all that great. I feel like. We'll go d5 and knight e4 maybe i just want to open up the scope of the two bishops oh this maybe is not the way to play it let's go here try to trade off some juicers 
play f4. I can play n peasant if I want to. Um, I don't really want to though. I'm gonna keep the bishop bad. How do I keep this bishop on h1 bad though? I guess I go here because now he's he's staring at a pawn wall. Let's just castle. Can play king b8, maybe c5. I mean, I actually like my position here. It must taste very good. It does, yeah. Cranberries and vodka, no. Okay, plays there. Strange move. Um, the question is, do I take or not? Yeah, I think I do take. Oh, I could have taken d4 too. Maybe taking d4 is better. Well, wow, it does this. And now I have queen g5. Let's go. Oh, he's got queen d2. What am I doing? So, okay, so I go here and I hit the pawn on e5. Like, Actually, I've kind of misplayed this a little bit. There, yeah, I have actually quite severely misplayed this position. Go here. I'm gonna go here. I'm trying to get something aggressive going on. So I take. Yeah, I did blunder this. Um, terrible blunder. No drop. What's with all the ads? I'm not running any ads, you guys. But I am contractually required to run ads, so, yeah. Bishop f1. Um, I have to be careful here. Well, let's go rook d8. Oh, it goes queen a3, which strikes me as slightly wrong. Because now, again, he's going to lose the pawn. Maybe not, actually. So I'll go here. Queen a4. That doesn't really concern me, because check, I just scoot over. Doesn't really have any mating patterns here, so I think I'm okay. And now once I get this bishop... What? I just go here, I cut off rook before, and now he just resigns. Particularly weird by my opponent. Yeah, I should just resign now. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Bishop c5 looks like a good move here. Just hit, hits everything. Uh, let's just go. I mean, everything wins here. So I guess I'll just play e3. Go here. Maybe e2. Bomb, bomb. Does contraction required mean I agree to do it to make more money? No, it means that that's part of the the whole. That's part of just getting paid. Period. It's not like a. It's not something where it's like, oh, if you do this, you'll get more money. It's like it's just part of the contract and the story. I mean, the thing is, I, I I didn't even have to go bishop f8. A5 was also winning for me. So there were multiple ways to win. It wasn't just a bishop f8. Okay, so let's see what's it gonna play. Everything looks pretty solid here. B6. Play F6, maybe E5, G5 here. Okay, I take the big center. Big black center, pretty solid. I'm gonna just take more of it. Go here. Really like my position here. I've got a nice center. Really, really nice. Uh, I guess I'll play C6. I don't know if I need to. I should have gone C5 actually, but whatever. Okay, I open up the diagonal here. Now let's open up this diagonal too. Both the diags are kind of opening up. Kind of scary to play if you're white here. It was bishop e2, so of course I'll go knight e7. I might go d4. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go d4 here. Just, but now this, now these pokas are kind of jumping. Also, knight b5, c3 exists. Exists. So, let's go here. I can also go b5. Even I mean, this is pretty gross. I have bishop a5. Yeah, or not poka puka. Sorry, these pukas. Yeah. Um, okay, I guess I'm just gonna move the knight. I don't have to, but I feel like everything is kind of winning here for me. So I'm not too concerned. This bishop on a1, by the way, is terrible. Look at this connect five. It's just crushing the bishop. Bishop just has not, no scope. But yeah. We get an X with tech for the four months. Thank you so much, X with tech X. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. 
It was 91 now. I mean, Bishop A5 looks strong to kick the rook out. I'm going to go G5, just lock it up here. His king is basically getting checkmated. That's the problem. I'm also going to be creating a connect. Oh, I broke the connect 5, but it, it, it's almost a connect 6 in a second. Everything is terrible here. All my pieces are active. His pieces are all so cramped. Just no squares at all. I mean, he might even just resign. No, okay, well, there's that peasant. Now I go here, and I'm going to create a new connect, connect 5. And his bishop, by the way, look at this dead bishop. He's just got a dead bishop in the corner that can't do anything. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's create a connect 5. Let's create a connect 6. Um, oh, I blundered d4, but he didn't see it. Should be a little bit more careful. Let's go here and take, I guess. I still blundered it, but I don't care. I literally don't care. Oh, I can also take h4, I guess. Okay, plays b4, I'll just come back. Now, look at this connect 6. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Go here. Now we target this pawn in a2. Let's go here, target the pawn again, and this will be GG. Check here, and I think it's a forced mate. Yeah, going next game. All right. Oh, it's my move. What am I doing? I'm white. Yeah, what am I doing? Do 93. Guess I'll go g3 and bishop g2. I want to fianchito the bishop, maybe. Go here. So he's trying to play the same way I played. But he has a bad knight on... Well, it's not bad, I guess. Let's go here. I'm going to go f4. Uh, guys, we need to get Hikar back up to 10k subs instead of somebody Levy for writing on his face. Sub to someone that's actually professional like Hikar. Okay, dude. I mean, whatever. Everyone's going to do their own thing. That's life. Uh, let's just castle here. And play b4. a4 is a move. Um, I can also go knight c2. I think I'm going to go b3, knight c2 here. But yeah. Go here. <sighs> Why did I do this? So I guess I'll go f5. I'm not actually thrilled by my position. Let's go d3, consolidate the chain. I'm playing ID5 next move. I mean, I'm doing very, very well here. Uh, I also go G4 maybe. I'm looking to play G5. Just keep attacking on the king side here. But yeah. All right, let's see what he's going to do. Where's the popcorn? No popcorn. It's going to keep attacking here. Just no, no, no chill. Just keep attacking. Go here. Yeah. Really, really good position. It's like queen b2, queen f2. I mean, I can go c4. Yeah, I'm just going to go knight d5. I'm just going to take the square. I mean, I don't know. This looks terrible for black. Maybe it's not, but whatever. I mean, there's also this problem, too. There's also this fork that, that exists here, so it's really, really bad. You know, why so shy for the 16 months? Thank you so much for why so shy. Of course, I take with a rook, so I have bishop e3. This way, I can also stack the two rooks. 20 points in 35 minutes. I have to win five minutes in. What is it? It's 20 points. 81 before three o'clock. Okay. Of course, I go here to hit the queen. Um. Oh, I actually made a slight mistake. I guess I go this way. Eh, this isn't what I wanted, but it's still playable. And go rook f1, queen one. So I need 20 points in 19 minutes. So that's five wins. And it seems pretty reasonable that I should get there. If I, if, I don't, if I don't win every game, though, and the streak gets broken, then, of course, it gets very dicey. Do I take or not? My instinct is not to take, but I'll take anyway. Let's go here. I have g5, I have h5, rook g1, queen one As long as the streak doesn't get broken, it'll be pretty routine. It goes there. Okay, now I go here, target this one. I mean, this, this should be win number one of... Uh, this will go here and take. Um, I guess I'll go here. It's trying to look very bad. Let's go here. A lot of pressure here on the king's side. I mean, I just don't see how he's supposed to survive. This looks really bad. Thank you so much. If tap out for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.
I am drinking a smoothie. Indeed, I am. He might just resign here. That's how bad this is. But I, I don't think he will. Yay! I don't really understand that move. Okay, I take. Uh, he's got some trick here. No, he doesn't have a trick. I just go here and mate him. Because takes, I can I can just go bishop h7, rook g3, and then I check and take, and that's ggs. And the knight in a4, b, like, let me in. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, I would like to get the knight in the game, but I don't even need to use it. I think it's a Garpy for the two months. Uh, let's just trade. Let's just go here, and now the knight gets in. So he takes, I just take. I think somebody should tab twitch for the 19 months. I think somebody should t-tab twitch. Now he finds queen g7, which is a pretty good move, but unfortunately, it's way too little, way too late. I also hit knight c8, which is good, but I just take and take. Oh, maybe this wasn't so smart, actually. Oh, that was kind of stupid of me. But he's not in time, so I can stop the two pawns here. Does A3 have knight B3, B3, knight B1? Now I just run this one up the board and end the game. Why am I not wearing glass anymore? Uh, no, I didn't do I didn't do anything. I didn't get any. I didn't do LASIK or anything. I just don't wear glasses. Why would I? go c4 because you can't see <laughs> okay let me play knight g3 knight f5 here um <laughs> i guess i'll just go back you need a purse bringer for the five gifts. I think it's so much purse bringer. I mean, I obviously trade. E3 is fine. I'm just going to take and go like knight E3, I guess. Oh, actually, wait. I just go here. <laughs> he, just, he just loses the game. I think he's just going to resign here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, three more to go. Is he actually going to play this out? Really? Okay, here we go. Three to go. Need a big cat belly for the 19 months. Let's go G3. I don't know if it's a good move, but I'll do it. Oh my gosh, this is Jospam. Okay, so this is a big game for all the rubles. Um, I guess I'll go here, maybe C4. Go C4, Bishop G2, I guess. I guess I'll just trade and play like Bishop G2. This Bishop is maybe bad on A8. I'm not actually sure. Was Jocelyn playing or not, by the way, earlier? Am I just, uh, am I completely blind? I could have sworn that he wasn't playing. I'll go h4 here. I'm wondering if he started late or something, because I could have sworn that I didn't see him actually in, in the field. Now let's go here, target the pawn. <laughs> now I just keep developing. Really like my position. I don't have to castle kingside. I mean, if he castles, I can also still castle queenside. I mean, like, Bishop F3 and G4 is kind of what I want to do, but on the other hand, it's a little bit... I think I'm just going to castle. There's no need to be too frisky here. I can play E3 and maybe D4, take more of the center. Should be a little bit better for me. I don't know if it's much better, but it feels a little bit better. I do have Knight G5, but I'm just going to go D4 here. Take more of the center here. Okay, it does play e5, which I thought was a, maybe a mistake, so I have this to hit the pawn. I feel like he, he must have started late, right? I think he start he must have started late. That's the only rational explanation for why he has no points. Or not no points, but why he doesn't have as many points. Wait, is there some trick? No, I just take and take. Okay. G5, that looks like a very questionable decision in my opinion but maybe it's okay but if i take he takes I, wait a second i can also check and take but i i just don't i don't understand this don't i just take a 90 huh i mean if rookie eight i just take or do i play rookie one first wait a second no, I think I just take. Trocark just subscribed. 
No, rookie one was the move. I should have played rookie one first. Okay, goes queen g I think gh4 might have been winning for black. Wait a second. I have to be very precise here, though. Rookie one, queen e4 after queen c2 is tricky. Rook b2. F3, knight e3, king f2. Queen d4 takes is good. E2, queen e4, f3. Knight e3. I think this is okay. There's queen e5 at the end of it. Okay, let's see. Knight g1 is all. Knight g1, queen e4, f3 is all. Wait, knight g1? Wait a second. I'm using too much time here. Oh, wait a second. Why am I thinking so long? There's got to be a move here. I know there's some move that I'm just not seeing. Um. I just don't have time. I don't have time. Uh, I don't have time. I think I just blundered anyway. Yeah, I've just got no time. So you have queen e4, f3, check, king f2. Um, that's not the move I expected. Wait a second. That's not the move I expected. Wait, I go here? I feel like he made a mistake here. Somehow. I... Ugh. Okay, draw is fine. They passed me. If I hadn't used 20 seconds on rookie one, I would have won that game. I used too long on that. I used way too much time. If I don't use 30 seconds on rookie one move, I win the game. But happens. All right, draw is okay, though. Let's keep going. That might cost us, though. Might cost us. That kills the streak, but I think we still have a chance, right? Or not? It's 30. We have nine minutes for what? 10? Yeah. Yeah, I spent like 40 seconds on that move. That, that's just, yeah. If I didn't spend 40 seconds, I would have won the game. But it happens. It's life. Let's go E5. What do I need? 24 minutes for 11 points? Oh, I have 24 minutes? Oh, thank you, Trocar. Oh, sorry. I thought I only had... I thought it was 30 minutes. Oh, if, if I have... Yeah, if I've got that much time. 20 seconds, you use almost a whole minute. I played too much classical chess, you guys. That's what happens. You forget how to move quickly when you played too much classical. That's why classical chess is just bad. Sad realities. Let's just go here and take more space in the center of the board. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's such a shame. If I didn't play classical chess, I would have moved quickly and won that game. Okay, I can play C4 here. I'm just going to go C4. We're both gonna be castle and queen king side, I think, in a second. Take with a B or D pawn, it's also I'm gonna take with a D pawn.
If A4, I think I'd still have A6. I'm going to castle Kingside very soon. Mm hmm. Okay, now though I get my knight to d5, and I should be very happy here. Let's go queen c7, I guess. Take. Okay, go c3. I can actually still play h6, maybe. How do I want to play this? I'll just castle and go rook b8. Keep it very simple. He's got a very bad bishop on g2 as well, behind a wall of pawns. Let's go here and take. Let's go here, bishop e7 next move. Does classical chess kill your blitz? Or does blitz kill your classical chess? If you play too much sometimes, I think. But not, not necessarily, because I played blitz chess for the last three years while everybody was molding, and I did did quite well when I returned. So, just depends. I don't like 960 over regular. No, I would take classical over 960 any day of the week. I'm going to go here, target everything, maybe, kind of. The problem is this bishop on g2 is just so bad versus this bishop on d5. I'm going to get a Talha for the 25 months. Who's molding? We know who's molding. Couple, there are two people in particular, I think, who are molding a lot. Jossman deserved a draw. Well, I mean, Jossman's an amazing player. That's not really saying very much. Let's take. I just have an extra pawn on the king side that I roll up the board, so it should be pretty easy. Uh, no, not not a meal. Definitely not a meal. Let's go rook b3. Let's go king h8, rook g8. Should all be very easy here. I also have a pass pawn he's going to have to worry about. Wardnik is chasing you. It doesn't really matter, actually, um, because it's top 16 who qualifies. So I'm actually not even really worried about that. He could, he could catch me on points. Wouldn't matter. Because again, top 16 qualifies. So really the only thing that I'm focused on is getting top 16. Uh, I think queen g7 is gg pretty much. Because I, I have this pass pawn that just rolls. So yeah. Let's go a3. I mean, still just n nothing white can really do here. Yeah, it goes there. I mean, everything wins. It's just a question of which one I want to play. I guess I'll just go here and bishop g8. It's a2. Rook, a2, rook b1, ggs. Make a new queen and the game. Going. So we're on eight. I need eight points, right? Eight points in the next 20 ish minutes. Play Teriyaki Child for the 10 months. Thanks so much, Teriyaki Child. Okay, I can play B6, I guess. All right, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go F6 and E5 maybe. Why well, I skipped Title Tuesday yesterday? Because I was in Europe and I had to travel back to back to America, so it was kind of hard to play. And I, I landed before 5 p.m., but only like 20 minutes before. I only got back to I landed in Florida maybe like 4:40 p.m. local time, so I didn't really have um, yeah, I couldn't really play. A flat earth or no, you guys. I, I definitely don't believe that the earth is flat. Let's go king b7. Okay. Um, Let's go e4, knight d6 maybe. My knight's, my bishop's not good on a, but I should be okay. Let's just take bishop e7, bishop a3. I really like my position. Generally, it's pretty pleasant. Although my king again, not not inspiring. My king position is really not inspiring. In fact, nothing about my position here is actually very attractive. I have to say. Also, I probably should have gone a six, not a five, but such is life. Okay, I go here. I get a bastion on c five, and I should be fine. Let's go here. I've got knight d3, maybe. Slowly improving. Very slowly. 
guess I'll go to A6, because I feel like A7 there might be some funky business. Now I open up the diagonal. I mean, okay, but now I just take and I think I'm actually quite happy. I need a Ramus funneler for 12 months. G6. Oh, that's a good move, maybe. Hmm. Missed that. Hmm. Yeah, this is not what I want. I guess I'll go rook d8, maybe king a7. Plays f5, which I don't understand at all, because now I just basically created a huge weakness on g2 for no reason. What? Wait a second, what is this? Okay, I mean, I should be better here somehow. I guess I'll just go here, take the pawn on g3. Don't really understand the way he's played this. Yeah, who doesn't know Sandstorm? Yeah, song name? I mean, you don't know Sandstorm. I don't know what to say. I'm not even in music, and I i, I mean, I know I know Sandstorm. Of course, I missed Rook F1, obviously. So let's go here. I can play Rook G7. Yeah, I think I'm going to go here and take, maybe. Let's take. Bishop E5 next to move. Um, yeah, let's go here, target the rook. F G2 is a little bit weak here. I go here. G2 is still very, very weak. Bishop not ideal on A8, but it probably doesn't matter here. How does Igor play so good and fast? Years and years and years of life wasted on this game of chess. Um, go here, target the bishop maybe. I don't know this is great. Go here. Let's eat the juicer. It takes, I have rook, rook F2. It takes. Okay, now though I should I should be okay here. I mean I have better bishop. Go here, I guess. I'm trying to play for tricks here as well. Hmm. Somehow I don't have a way to win. Very annoying. F2 and then... Hmm. Go here. Let's, let's try to get a little bit tricky. It goes there. I can't go back to D2 because then it's a draw. Take? I mean, I okay, he gets he, he can draw this, I guess. Or not. No, I still win the game on time. And on the board, too. Now I have the wide peepos, and he can't stop them both. Let's keep going. Next game up. Okay, we're up to 75 now, so still climbing the leaderboard. Up by 9 points, 28 minutes. Uh, let's play G6. Probably not a good move, but let's do it. Is that Rick Astley? That is Rick Astley. Okay. Um, let's play f5 here. Um, I guess I'm gonna go here, maybe e5. Rick, who? Yeah, <laughs> Rick, who? The famed one, the famed legend. e5 is a bad move, of course. I feel like I'm getting a little bit too loosey goosey now. He goes there, but he lets me get bishop f6, and now I should act, uh, I had knight a4 too, which was good, but this this looks pretty good for me. I know my 80 singers, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who doesn't know Rick? Let's play h5. Okay, I think I'm gonna go f4 now because there's no knight g4. Okay, I can obviously trade. Why not? Just keep building on the king side. 
I may or may not Castle Kingside, depending on what he does here. Because he's kind of cramped. A little bit. What do I think of Elon joining the the the, uh, the board of Twitter? Um, I think what I would say is that it's not shocking. I mean, he bought nine percent of the company, so I mean, I guess that's why he sold all the shares back in uh, December or whenever it was. Play H four. I don't know if this is a good move. Probably not. He goes G four. He clogs the king side. Now I need to somehow attack on. Nah, you know what? Let's sack. Because Gary Gary Kasparov said a knife on F four is worth at least a queen, so we got to follow that maxim. And I I mean, I'm just gonna go here. Oh, he can still take. But he opens up this diag. Okay, let's go a5. Who cares? Not me. Go here and let's take the pawn. This actually looks quite scary for white. I mean, king f7. Okay, I'm just gonna... Uh, let's take. I, I mean, I know he's got some knight a3 stuff. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna line up a double-double stack and then into the triple stack and win the game. Let's go here. Uh, let's go here and kick the knight out of town first. Uh, I misplayed this. Shoot. Oh, wait. No, I didn't misplay this. I can take, so I can just kill him with E4. Never mind. There we go. Uh, I guess I'll just go here. Trade. Should be pretty good for me. It's actually not clean, though. Oh, let's just trade. Just take. I guess I'll go here and Queen B6. We reach an end game. Not the greatest thing ever, but probably good enough to win. Go D5, it takes, I have E4 to end the game. Queen A8 is a kind of a strange move. Um, so I'll go here, attack the queen. Go D4. Trying to basically open up the diagonals as much as I can eventually. I'm going to just take, I have Queen D4. Should be pretty good. C3. Oh, B4 would be a huge blunder. I can't do this. Let's go here. Still want B4, but it's no good. I'll go here, threaten Queen D2. Go here, maybe Queen F4. I've definitely misplayed this quite a bit. Not really sure why I did this either. Go here. Okay, now he blunders a pawn. Of course, I take with the G pawn to create the two connecteds. Okay, this that. Okay, so I trade. I go here, consolidate the chain. I have bishop d8, bishop b6, bishop g2, win the game, and it's all over. Let's go here. This must be winning. I take. Oh my gosh, but I have, I have so many pawns here that I think I'm, I think I'm winning. I have four peepos. I have too many wide peepos here. Yeah, they're, they're just too many peepos. I go here. He can't stop all of them. No chance. Yeah, I get this one going. Threaten E2. Now I get this one going. I mean, yeah, he just can't stop all of them. Yeah, he can't stop the peepos. Let's keep going. Next game, thank you to Tommy Lee Walker for the three months. Thank you so much, Tommy Lee Walker. Yeah, four pawns. I mean, and, and I have three peepos, so there's just no chance. Yeah, I've got one, two, three. Even without the G pawn, they're just too split. All right, let's go here. 1904. Play queen b2 here. Maybe I go e4, maybe d3. New terminology? Why? What do you mean, new terminology? What are you talking about? You haven't heard of the wide peepos? Six months, baby. Six months, baby. Z Webster, appreciate it. Let's go here. Do you lose points? No, you don't lose points if you lose. Um, but you you end up losing your streak. Yeah. Eight minutes for two points. Yeah, I'll, I'll get the two points. Oh, I guess I'll play H four. Maybe knight f three, knight g five. Next move looks all pretty standard, decent here. You know what I'm talking about? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Actually, I don't. Seriously. Oh, let's go here. I'm going to go for some knight c4, I think, at some point. Puka? Yeah. I mean, the pukas are pretty good on f3 and e3. Okay, let's go here. Target the bishop. Hit the pawn. Uh, creating, a creating a classic fork. 
Um, I think I'm gonna go c3 here, maybe bishop a4. Am I excited for qualifying for the candidates? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, we'll see how it goes. Chess. Go here, I can just castle my king. I did not actually expect that. Okay, now I'm gonna get castle uh, to the king side because he's got a lot of problems here. I'm just gonna go a4, a5, b5. G5 is too slow. This looks very uh, wrong. If I take, let's take, I have 95. And then we get a classic uh, fork. Uh, that's a free queen. Next game coming up. There we go. All right. That was a huge, big, juicy castle. Indeed it was. Yeah, totally. Totally, totally. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play two more games probably. Two more games and we'll just watch the, the rest. Maybe I can get to 100 though, let's see. Maybe. Oh, I'm playing Min Lei. I guess Min Lei is in this tournament now. Okay, let's see. Let's go F5 here maybe, maybe G6 next move. Can I explain why did he quit the game now? Oh right, this is Min Lei, so I do need to kind of like focus. Let's go G6. Not just like random, play random moves and randomly lose. Yeah, I go here. It's funny, if I went knight of 7 and bishop g7 to trap the rook. I mean, I can castle here, but I don't really like it. I'm going to go c5. I mean, he can go here, I go here, and then he goes back. But I'm not actually so sure what's going on. Because I have b5 here. I don't know, that's a strange position. Quite strange, actually. Not so clear, let's think. It goes there. I'm going to go e6 and queen h4, I think, to attack this pawn. Let's go back. I guess he can trade him. I don't know, but then queen h5, he, he loses on the g2 square. Quite tricky. So I guess I'll just go here. I can always castle. Keep that in mind. That's what I'm waiting on. I castle king, queen side or king side. I don't know which way. Yeah, let's just go this way, because I figure I'm kind of attacking a little bit here in the center. I d5, maybe. Oh, I had knight h6. Oh, he goes... Wait, but now I go here, knight g4. I mean, maybe his rook f3, but I mean, this looks very scary for black somehow with g5. Let's just go for it. Takes knight g4, I mean... Right, but now I can... Well, first of all, I have knight g4. Wait. That's just gg. I just... Or wait, he's got bishop d8. And he should king d1, gf4 looks pretty good. Yeah, I think I should just be winning. Okay, take. Now bishop g3, and that's gg. You got tgfc for the 8 months. Thanks so much, tgfc. Yeah, good win. Very, very good win. I moved my rook, so actually, no, I moved the rook so I couldn't castle. Who was living in your house while you were in California? Nobody, you guys. Uh, my house was sitting empty. I was just paying the mortgage off. So, yeah, I was basically paying, like, double rent. Let's go b6 here. Maybe c5, maybe d5, maybe f6. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll go. I don't even know why I played f6, but let's go e5 here. I do have a check on b4, maybe. I do something weird. I'm gonna go here. Idea bishop b4. Okay. Oh, let's go knight c6. Obviously, take. I can also play like knight b4 to hit the bishop. Maybe. Seems a little bit strange. Okay, let's just take and take. I guess. Um. Oh, he can castle too. He doesn't do it. I'll go knight c6, of course. Hit the pawn on d4. All right. So he plays queen d3. Let's go f5 here. Go here. Hit the pawn on d4. I mean, I always have rookie 8 as well. Let's go check. 
Maybe knight b3 is an idea next move. Maybe just knight e7, knight g6. Um, I guess knight e2 hits the rook, hits the pawn. Oh, uh, let's take the pawn here. I can go g5 maybe. Um, or I can go for the fossil. Yeah, let's go for the fossil. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, oh no, the bishop guards the queen. If I check, he takes and the bishop guards the queen. Go here in rookie eight. Very poor. Okay, let's go rookie eight. Go check. Go here. I mean, I, I have tricks still, but. Oof. I think you're the Omega Gamer for the four months. Oh, did I miss a bishop c3 trick somewhere in here too? Oh wait, no, it didn't work. Never mind. I'm just I'm a lunatic. Okay, let's go check maybe. Um, uh, go here, attack the queen. And I have weird tricks here maybe. Go here. I mean, these these puka are kind of starting to jump a little bit. I have queen h5, knight d4. It's getting a little bit scary here. Okay, let's. Uh, I don't really want to take, but I guess I will because I have knight d4. But I'm gonna go here, I'm trying to get really tricky. If he takes with the king, I fork him with knight h4. If he takes with the queen, I fork him with knight d4. I mean, these puka are very strong with the queen and the rook here, so I'm trying to get really sneaky. Trying to be really, really sneaky. Does rook c3? I'm gonna go. This rook. Uh... I'm going to go here, line it up even more. I mean, everything's really, really strong here. Okay, so if king f1, I just take. Um... <laughs> yeah, the sneaky pukas, exactly, yeah. Um, I can also take that. I also have knight h4. I'm trying to, f I guess I'm going to go here and knight, knight e4 or something. Um, what does white do actually? Yeah, that's a pretty weird position. It's king's weird, but I mean, again, I've got these pukas. My rook is good. My queen is good. Everything's kind of perfectly placed here. But yeah. Yeah, okay. I can play knight e4 maybe. Or not. Yeah, let's go knight e4 here. I think I'm going to go here. I want to go queen g6 and line up even more tricks. Rook e2. Where's my, uh, wait, 95. Uh, can I go G4? I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try it. Cause King C2, he gets, okay, but now I fork in this way. Can I, yeah, let's go here. I mean, these Pukas are so strong. There we go. There we go. Checkmate. Next game. Let's keep going. Yeah. That's what we call a nice checkmate. All right, next game. Okay, let's play b3, bishop b2 here, I guess. Line up the diags. I'm gonna get my bishop. Oh, this is actually just a terrible move by I me. Mean, what am I even doing? I have to go e4. Yeah, this is not Gary Kasparov, just so you guys know. Okay, so he takes, um, I have multiple captures. I think the safe capture is just a trade. Go here. I guess I'll go, um, I think I'm gonna go, go here, maybe knight c3, maybe knight g3. I think I'm gonna go to g3, play f3, queen e2, and castles. And once I get castle to the king's side, I should just be completely fine, maybe even better. I have a knife which is headed towards f5, but I think I should just castle first. Okay, now the thing is, how do I activate this knight? I think I'm just going to rotate. I mean, this... I got I to gotta get this puka into the game. 
But I don't really have a great move. Um, F4 is... I think I'm just going to go here and rotate. Yeah, let's just rotate. And I have Queen F3 also to hit the Knight. Go here, target the Knight. I have Bishop C1, maybe. You know, 694, 92. I mean, all this looks pretty good for me. Can't complain. Okay, he goes King G7. Um... I go. Oh wait, no. Knight G five is actually a threat. I guess I should just simplify. Okay, we we do basically a swap of the pukas. So I take. I go here. I can play knight e one or knight a three. Okay, let's go here. Try to rotate my knight back into the game somehow. Go here. Knight b one. Knight c three. And then knight d five, of course. I think I should, um, knight d5 is fine. I mean, I guess I'll do it. Yeah, he's got knight d6. No, actually, I think I should play f3 and just open up the board first. Take with the pawn. Go here. I have e4, maybe? I really do like my position. Somehow this position's come to life. Let's take, I create the connect 4, so he, he has to automatically resign here. Or not. I guess not. Let's go rookie one. The Omega, Maybe the Omega game for the gifted sub. Let's go here. And obviously trade some rooks. Connect four is pretty powerful here. Um, let's just play a game of bishops. This should be a draw of perfect play, but I mean, I feel like I have chances to maybe win this. I also have b4 here. This takes now. This is weak. Let's go here. If g5, I trade and go h4. Um, hmm. Yay! What about a4? Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to go a4 here. Yeah. Now, of course, I take. I go here. Let's go back. I check in the bishop e5. And it still is probably a draw. Wow, it goes g5. Go check. I can also just take, but I think this is the safest way to play it. Just plant the bishop on e5 permanently. Go here. Let's go h4. It goes g4 now. I'm gonna go h5. Fix the weak pawn on g7. I have bishop c3. He's actually in Zugzvang. Uh, if he goes bishop e8, I take f5. It goes. He actually has almost no moves here. Okay, but now I go here, I take, and I just win the game. Just take. I have bishop g5 and up a pawn, weak pawn. Let's go here. Bishop d8 is the idea. Go here. And now the a-pawn just rolls up the board, and this should be pretty smoothly winning. I think I'm going to go here on bishop e5. Seems like the safe way to win this. Actually, wait a second. Bishop e5 takes six. Bishop c4. e6. Bishop e6. Yeah, this should be winning. Uh, no, no, no need to get fancy. Let's just go here and keep it simple. No need to get fancy. I can just run the pawn up the board. Go here. Let's go here. Start running the pawns. Oh my gosh, I just blundered again. Jeez. Or did I wait? No, maybe I'm still... Oh, no, I'm still winning because I have this trick. And I have bishop b8 to hold the hold the glue. And now it's like my Oparin game. Bishop f1, e2 is the move. Yeah, and I go here, here, and I, I just win the game. This is actually very similar to my game against Gregorio Oparin in the Grand Prix. Just go here, bishop g2. Yeah, let's keep going. Another win up to 95. 12 minute lead with eight minutes left. So probably play one more game. Thank you, Jeremy, for the two months. Thank you, Kruno, for the prime. Get Renato. Renato is in 13th place. So this is actually a very important game. If I can beat Renato, maybe I can knock him out of the top 16. Maybe. Pretty unlikely, but maybe. Let's go here on E4, I guess. Mm, I don't know about that one. Let's go here. Let's go here. I'm going to go here. I have 95. Huh. I also have E5. 
No, it doesn't look right. Okay, let's just develop. You get a Zinsha for the nine months. Yeah, now I'm going to go knight d5, though. And now I don't know what he's supposed to do because he doesn't have knight d4 anymore. Oh, by the way, e Oh, I have knight c7 trapping the queen. Oh, I'm actually a moron. Knight d5 was winning because I have knight c7 trap his queen. Okay, now which one do I do I want to? Seems like the safest way to play it. Yeah, I'm a total moron. I guess queen d8, I'll just trade. I mean, basically I'm being really nasty here. I'm essentially forcing an end game where I'm just up a pawn, which is going to take all the time off the clock here. And it's he's going to have to struggle to make a draw. This is actually about the worst possible thing that he could have asked for. Wait, let's go here. Yeah, this, this should be winning. Um, I'll just go here. Go king c2, keep this very simple. Um, why did I allow that actually? It's kind of poor. Just go back. I mean, I guess I just go here. I always have a 95 trick somewhere. Seven logical move. I'll play 91, discard everything. No 100 yet again. I mean, I can probably, if I win this game quickly, I can get one more in. But I, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, does it? Objectively, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go a uh, four, consolidate the chain. Let's just go here. Trade. Let's go here. Force rooks off the board. I want to go b4 here. Let's trade into the end game. Because again, basically, I'm just trying to make this game go as long as I humanly can. And I mean, this, this should just be winning for me, objectively. He, ha, he just, uh, so Renato resigns. He, he realizes he's going to lose the game and it's going to go on for another three minutes. So smart, smart decision. I'll play one more for you guys. Let's go here. And I get Bortnik. I can take the draw here. Rating doesn't really matter, does it? Let's just go C4. Uh, I think I'm going to play Knight C3. Knight D5 is pretty reasonable, I guess. Now let's just go for it. I go G3 or E4. I think I'm just going to play G3 here. They can't really castle here. I just play like Knight C6. Not really all that appealing for black, I don't feel like. Uh, I lost to Bordnick in 960 uh, after um, after the, uh, after which event? After the previous Berlin Fide Grand Prix. I think E4 is not a very good move either, but let's go here, target the Rook. I guess I'll just castle, why not? Is the E6 or might be some E5 trick too here? I'm not actually sure. Plays E5. And actually, I just want to see what's happening here. This probably is not a good sack, but I'm just kind of curious to see how good the uh, two pieces are. So I'm really not sure about this, but I'm just going to take. Let's just go D4 here. Trying to just build a big blob in the center, essentially. I mean, if I get F4, the blob is pretty strong. He goes Knight H5, which looks like a good move. Take, let's take. I think I'm gonna go F4, idea E5, and just keep building. Knight F6, Bishop G2, maybe. Is queen d6 logical move? Uh, is he trying to angle something? I think he is. Let's just go here anyway to play e5. I'm gonna go b4, try to just rip open. Wait, why did I do that? Go rook c8. Not a smart move. I just miscalculated there. I thought rook c4 was winning. I guess I go queen d3, attack the bishop here. You two, a game of throws for the prime thing. Search a game of throws. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to go here. Keep putting more pressure on him. Again, his pieces are very passive. I'm trying to get the connect five to just end the game on the spot. Um, Queen B8 is actually quite interesting, but I don't I don't really love it. So I'm just going to go here. Again, try to open up diags and just attack. Let's 
Uh, there is A3, which is my idea. Just kind of. Oh, he's got A5, of course. Which, oh, wait, I have E5 here. Because of this. Actually, I just forgot about this. I mean, this looks kind of lost. I've got the Connect 5 in play. Maybe gonna connect six in a second. I mean, this looks disastrous. Connect six and a right triangle. Um. Okay, this must be lost. D seven, rookie seven. What about queen c seven? Maybe. If he trades, I just take and then I take and it ends the game. Let's see what he does. Uh, thank you for everything you taught me. I won my first game today. First time ever winning first game of the day. Nice. Congrats, man. Congrats. Okay, we got the connect six. I mean, that's that's as good as it gets. Connect six, and it should just be a win. Connect six is auto win. I agree. Yeah, it goes bishop d4. I mean, everything is winning here. It's a matter which one I want. I guess I'll just do this one. Yeah. Okay, I guess I go, um, which one's the easiest? Queen H8 and Bishop D5 looks pretty clean. Um, yeah, Rook E6, Rook D8, game over. Checkmate. All right, you guys, it's gonna take a short break. We're on the direction, we'll come back and we will have the knockout coming up very, very shortly.